15th. Let's put the radar back on because, again, we want to advise you of, of the intensity of some of these storms, uh, really all of these storms, as they are becoming more linear in nature across the western part of our area. Let's start up near Lafayette. Plenty of lightning associated with these storms. I want to give you a close-up view. Heavy rain from Brookston south to Battleground into Lafayette, Clarks Hill, and Colfax. Let's slide this west so we can tell you in advance when they, or where these storms are going next. So uh, we want to show, yes, the eastern areas of these, Burlington, Michigan Town, Flora, you've got a few minutes to get into the safest part of your home. Delphi, one area that's under a tornado warning. Uh, Rossville as well, as we pick up the western sections of Clinton County here. Again, you've got a few minutes to get into the safe part of your home, but not many. So we encourage you to go there now. These storms have a history of tornadic development as they moved across Illinois. Uh, heavy rain now in Frankfurt. A little difficult at times, especially when these supercells merge into a line, to actually figure out where that rotation is. So what we're looking for are these little notches within this line of thunderstorm activity. In order for you to stay safe and your family as well, safest part of your home, lowest level. If you've got a basement, get there as uh, we're tracking these thunderstorms moving across Clinton County. Let's head south from Frankfurt and uh, pick up Thorntown, one area not under a warning, but the, this line of thunderstorms is headed your way. South through Darlington. We'll continue south, obviously some very heavy rain. Crawfordsville, one area that is under a tornado warning. And again, we're monitoring a significant line of showers and thunderstorms at this point. A large view will show you the line of thunderstorms really covering the western part of our area from Lafayette to Crawfordsville, east of Terre Haute to just west of Bloomington. These individual cells are racing northeast 60, 65 miles per hour. Nicole? Angela, right now what I want to do, since you've been going over the radar so much, we want to show you what's happening in Lafayette right now. Rich Nye is in Lafayette. They're in a safe spot. We have them covered, so they are in a safe area. But I do want you to see that we have very heavy rain in the Lafayette area. And this is why I want you to take these tornado warnings seriously. Because as you can see, it is a very gray sky you may not be able to see a funnel cloud. You may not be able to actually see the tornado. So if you are under a tornado warning, I don't want you to go outside or look out the window and say, I don't see it. We have very heavy rain associated with these. It may be hard to actually see that damaging cloud headed your way. So in Lafayette, in Tippecanoe County, we have that very heavy rain that's continuing to fall, including of course, very gusty winds. We have multiple tornado warnings for central Indiana. If we can go back to live Doppler 13 radar, we will show those as they continue uh, to move across central Indiana. What's on there right now is going to be our velocity. All right, Sean is uh, zooming in. Is that around Chalmers and Brookston there? Absolutely. And uh, up and down the line, we've got several areas of uh, very strong rotation. Monticello, this is probably on top of you right now and Delphi as well. You need to be in your safe spots as we speak. We're going to work down. There's a very strong tornado couplet um, that's likely on top of I-75, if not crossed I-75 between Lafayette and Dayton. And so you can see right there, those two pixels, that's what we call gate-to-gate -gate shear. That's a very strong couplet, more than likely. Um, per, that's why we have the tornado warning and possibly a tornado uh, in progress. And I'm going to pull the radar back out and work down the line because we've got, again, multiple tornado warnings uh, moving across uh, west central Indiana. Yeah, you see everything kind of the, the brighter colors. That's straight line wind damage. And there's another. Let me dive in. So we're just kind of analyzing the radar with you at home. Southwest of Clarksville, maybe probably on top of Clarksville right now. Uh, so there's another potential couplet. So we've got several areas of potential uh, tornadoes. And, and as we work, I'm going, Sean, sorry, go ahead. That's all right. We do have a crew in Lafayette right now with some uh, great pictures of, of just what they're dealing with at this point. The rain really coming down. Uh, again, as Nicole pointed out, before we even sent the crews out today, reminded them uh, safety first. They are in a safe a structure at, at this point, giving us some live pictures from Tippecanoe County and Lafayette. You can see just how heavy the rain is. And as Nicole pointed out, this isn't the kind of weather that you want to go out and, and look for rotation. Even trained storm spotters are not 
chasing today because the conditions are just simply too dangerous. These thunderstorms moving way too fast to safely chase at, at this point is some of the information that we got earlier today. But heavy rain coming down in, uh, in Tippecanoe County. Trying to look for a flag or two or something blowing around just to kind of guess on, on how strong the winds are. But again, we do have a crew in place along Interstate 65. We got a report of a 60, well, let's put it, that's about 65 mile per hour gust uh, at Lafayette, the Lafayette Airport. Okay, so and that's above severe limits. Severe limits, 58 miles per hour. Absolutely, and we, we expect that to continue. And as Kelly uh, Green was pointing out, we did get confirmation of a tornado in progress in Knox County, and that's farther down okay. the line. Now, Kelly, if you want to switch back over to the velocities, and what we'll do is just kind of work down the line with the velocities. You can see those couplets. We can switch it. Live Doppler 13 will be okay for that. And then so we'll walk, we'll walk down the line. There's the potential rotation uh, in Lafayette. We'll go back the other way. We're going to slide down south. And so there's potential rotation uh, near Lafayette, likely crossed over um, I-65. So let's keep working down because we've got the multiple tornado warnings. And really, all along the leading edge of the storm line, we could have spin-ups. And you see those little bright couplets? We could have multiple tornadoes going uh, as we speak. Now, farther south, you can see Crawfordsville, that straight line wind all blowing in one direction. Keep going a little farther to the south and to the southwest. You see that polygon there? We'll go, there you go. That's a tornado in progress right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we mentioned Montezuma and Rockville, and we said you needed to be in your safe spots, and hopefully people heeded that warning. Uh, likely on top of Rockville right now, crossing over 36. We've been saying the movement's northeast, so Marshall. Bloomingdale, Judson, hopefully you've been heeding the warnings because it's moving your way likewise in uh, Waveland and Russellville. I do want to say just really quickly, Sean, uh, when we were looking at those pictures from Lafayette, um, I, I said, you know, we're, our crew is safe. We're going to keep them in a safe spot. Um, the National Weather Service actually tweeted out that the tornado may be moving towards Lafayette could be shrouded in rain. Yes. So, again, that's our huge concern that this is extremely heavy rain. You will not be able to see the rotation. You will not be able to see that tornado coming your way more than likely. That's why we are on the air. We are informing you of the new tornado warnings that are in place, and we will continue to do so as we head into the afternoon. Chuck Lofton is joining us this afternoon as well. And uh, Chuck, what did you see on your way in this afternoon? Oh, it's very windy, as you guys have been mentioning. And there's a couple of things. If we could go back towards the Rockville area, Kelly, on our uh, live Doppler 13 radar, one of the key things to remember about this area uh, is that in the uh, area where we had the high velocity, Sean, and the potential mm -hmm. tornado there, uh, that, uh, just, that is downtown Rockville. Just west of downtown Rockville, there are three historic covered bridges just south of that location right now. One of them, you may remember, was destroyed a few years ago, and they had to rebuild it. Now, as we go back up towards Lafayette, uh, what's kind of key, according to Purdue officials, always on uh, a Sunday is beginning at 3 o'clock. That's when the students start to come back after their weekends off. And so we would really urge you, if you have a student in Indianapolis or uh, anywhere in Indiana and they have to get back to campus tonight, you do not want to let them go at this time because we're looking at some extremely severe weather. Again, these wind gusts are quite strong. Also along I-65, and Kelly, if we could go uh, between Lafayette and Frankfurt there, that is the area near the Subaru plant. And that's been an area that uh, has been hit hard by strong weather this year already. In fact, you can see at the top of your screen from Dayton all the way down to the first Frankfurt exit, which would be just east of Clarks Hill. That's where there's uh, some, you know, lightning, or pardon me, some... Uh, uh, very strong winds and, uh, and some strong weather during the course of the day today, Nicole. Kevin Rader is actually positioned on I-65, so what we want to do is go ahead and give you a look from where Kevin is. He is basically um, in right around, or is that Lafayette there? That's not Lafayette. That We are going to be looking towards uh, I believe Boone he was County, in right? Boone County, He's wasn't Boone? he? He's north way? of Lebanon. Okay, so that was the wrong I-65 Thorntown exit, so that was the wrong uh, CG there that you saw on the screen. You can see just how fast those clouds are moving. So within probably, I would say, I don't know, within less than an hour, we're going to see these storms right where uh, Kevin is. We have very heavy rain that's on the way. If we can go to Live Doppler 13 radar right now and then go to Boone County, you will see exactly, there's Thorntown, so really not a lot going on right now. But as you look to the west around Crawfordsville and Colfax, well, that's where we're seeing some of that heavy rain that will be heading 
right into Boone County. Yeah, and, 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 and I tell you, Kelly, let's go ahead and pop back on velocities. And what we need to do is kind of set the stage for the area.